All right, so that was helpful with the HTML. Um, can you do something similar and tell me how you think about reading a CSS file? All right, sure, let's go look at it. All right, so we've got the CSS file. Um, so CSS stands for cascading style sheets. Um, okay. The cascading part is sort of, you can define things in multiple different ways, and it'll always be the last definition that, that gets used. OK. What's going on so like for instance, with these sorts of things? Yeah, so, so we've got HTML embody. So all of these rules will be applied to any element that starts with HTML or body. Um, and then this rule will apply just to the ones with body. And you'll notice it's one of the same attributes between oh, the two okay. of them. So, so this, this margin one is, is going to supersede that one? It's yeah. more important? Yeah, it'll override it. Okay. OK, so and this could say div, for example. This could be yeah, so, just so any could, HTML thing. Yeah, so you could define styles for all divs. That would be kind of weird, because there are so many divs that mm -hmm. it would just be kind of kind of strange. But so okay. here we've got inputs. Those are like uh, boxes that you type stuff in. So no, this is different. This is green. Yeah, so, so this guy is talking about a class. Okay. So these other ones, where they don't have dots in front of them, those are the main, the element themselves. Mm -hmm. So the thing right after the open um, angle bracket, mm -hmm. when it's got a dot, it's talking about the, the, the part that says equals. class equals. Okay. So this one is referring to this particular class. Any class, OK, mm -hmm. cool. And then here, we've got an element dot class name. So it's only that kind of elements class name. So if okay. if we'd had a div with a with the class title, this rule wouldn't be applied gotcha. to it. Okay. It's only going to be applied to heading ones. So what about these? So what's going on with these um, like at dash webkit dash keyframes? What is this? This looks like it's probably some kind of animation or uh, like maybe a hover over something. Okay. What are webkit and mods? What do those things mean? Yeah, so this is this is clearly referring to uh, different kinds of browsers. Um, so it's probably like different ways of doing things based on which browser you're in. Oh, so is this so when our front end engineers are all complaining about, you know, lack of browser specification, they're complaining about having to write these things? Yeah, or or probably more like this sort of thing. Okay. I can see why that would be annoying. Yeah. I can right. super annoying. Um and is that about it? I mean there's elements, we've got classes, we've got this blue stuff which is just the rules you're applying, the font size, the height. Mm -hmm. Is that about all that's going on? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you, you can do more complicated stuff uh, in CSS, but it's sort of preferable not to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mostly want the CSS file to be as simple as possible and just sort of give the basic positioning um, and uh, like coloring and all sure. of that, and then have the JavaScript deal with everything else. OK. All right. Um, well, I'm going to actually try and do that thing that you said I shouldn't do. I'm going to try and change the, some of the styling of all the divs and see if that does anything interesting. All right. Okay.